Okay, so we're subtracting these polynomials. So we first, first we need to put the like terms together. So let's start in order. Do I have any more terms that have x squared? Yes. yes. 2x squared, and I'm subtracting x squared. So I have to write subtract x squared. Let's look at the next term. Negative 2x. You always have to include the sign, okay? That's my next term. Are there any other terms that are similar to negative 2x? Are there any other x terms? Negative 7x. But look here. I'm subtracting negative 7x. What happens when we take away a negative? What does it become? Positive. Very, very important that you remember to change the sign. If you're taking away a negative, it always becomes positive. If I'm taking away a positive, I'm just taking away. Subtract. Okay, and then finally the last term. I have positive 5, and I'm taking away 6. So I just write take away 6. Now we just need to simplify. What if I have 2x squared and I take away 1x squared? How many x squareds do I have? What's 2 take away 1? Chris? 1. So I have just x squared. We had 2 and we're taking away 1. We have 1. 1x one squared. I don't need to write the number 1. You can just write x squared. Now I have negative 2x and I'm adding 7x's. What's negative 2 plus 7? Positive or negative? Positive 5x. If you need to use a calculator, positive 5 taking away 6, going backwards, where do I end up? Good. Negative 1. This is the final answer. x squared plus 5x take away 1.